Today we're talking about coolie. I'm going to show you how to make it and how to use it. Stick around until the end and I'll show you how to plate the same dessert six different ways using what we've learnt. Hi, I'm Taryn. Welcome to my kitchen studio. This is where I like to have fun with food and share tips and tricks to make your food not only taste great, but look great too. Today we're talking about coulis. Coulis is the French word for a thick sauce made from pureed and strained vegetables and fruits. So the options are endless for colours and flavour combinations. Think about the colour and flavour you are wanting. For example, if you're wanting a red coulis, you could use raspberries or strawberries. If you are wanting a yellow coulis, you could use a yellow fleshed peach and mango. Or if you're wanting a paler colour, you can mix in some apple or another paler fleshed fruit. Today I'm going to show you a berry coulis and an apricot coulis and two different ways to make these. One is simply blended and the other one is cooked and blended. When you use the cooked method, you've got more scope for adjusting the thickness of your sauce. But it does take longer using the cooked method. The blended method is quick and easy, and you can make it while your guests are sitting at the table. The recipes are simple, and you can adjust the sweetness to your preference by adding more or less sugar, and you can adjust the thickness of the sauce by adding more or less water or cooking it longer or shorter. Making a coulis is so simple and it really will take your desserts to a whole new level in both the looks and the flavours. Let's get started! I'll leave the recipe in the description below. So this is what we need for our berry coulis. I've got my berries, mixed berries, some icing sugar, we're using icing sugar for this method because it's not cooked. If we used a granulated sugar, it could be a bit gritty in your mouth. And I've got some lemon juice, something to blitz it all in, and a sieve and bowl to strain it all through. So we're going to put the berries into our blender. Then we'll add the icing sugar and a wee squeeze of lemon juice and blend away until it's smooth isn't that a beautiful colour and now we need to strain it this is probably the most tedious bit Don't throw this bit away, this is delicious on your breakfast or in a smoothie. And there it is, our beautiful berry coulis. Look at that. And wasn't that so simple to make? And now for our apricot coulis. These are the things that we need. I've got some fresh apricots here. Don't use the ones that are nice for eating. Use the ones that have gone a bit soft and squishy. They're the best for making coulis. And I've got some caster sugar. You can use any type of sugar here because we're going to cook it. It won't be gritty. You can even use icing sugar if that's all you've got. Then I've got some water, a saucepan to cook it, a blender to blitz it, and a fine sieve to strain it. We'll put our apricots into our pan. Put the sugar in and the water. And then we bring this to a slow simmer. It took about five minutes to get to this jammy looking point. So we're ready to puree this now. And now we can strain it. Don't forget that this liquid is still a bit hot. And 
Again, don't throw out the dregs. You can use those on your breakfast or in smoothies or even if you're feeling adventurous in muffins. <laughs> and there's our beautiful apricot coolie. Don't you love the vibrant colours you can get with coolies? So now comes the fun part. We've made our coolie. How do we use it? I've got a few things ready here. I've put some of our berry coolie into a little plastic bottle. This keeps it more defined when we're plating it. And you can get this from any plastic shop or dollar store. Also got some spoons, a fork. There's this cake garnisher that you can buy from a cake shop. But if you don't have one, a fork works or even a comb. I've got a paintbrush and also a skewer. These are just a few simple ideas. There's no rules, so use your imagination. We'll start with a few dots. I'm going to start with a bigger dot and work my way down to a smaller dot. It really is much easier in the plastic bottle with a small little nozzle so that you can get them more defined. It's much harder if you're doing this just with a teaspoon. Next I'm going to show you another one where we just draw a spoon through a blob of coolie. Plonk a blob of it down there. And use another clean spoon to just draw through the coolie. Then we can use our little bottle to make some shapes. You can either do swirls on a plate, anything that you like using this like a pen. Now I'll show you what it looks like if we pull a comb through it. I'm just going to put a little bit of coolie in a line. Push hard and down with the comb and drag it through. And you get a similar sort of look if you drag a paintbrush through it. You can also do some simple lines mixed with dots that can look fantastic. And the last one I'll show you, we'll mix the two colours together. I'm just going to do a few little apricot dots. You can see there how it's trickier to do it just with a spoon. And some raspberry dots. And then we just pull the skewer through it. So here's some simple ideas. And now I'm going to show you how we can use them while plating a simple dessert like a chocolate brownie. Let's put this all together. One brownie, six different ways. I've got a few things to help with our garnishing. Some fresh cream, some fresh fruit, cherries, apricots, pomegranate, blueberries, strawberries, some mint tips to garnish, and of course, our coolie. So now you know how to make a simple coolie and some ideas of how you can use it. I hope you can take your desserts to the next level, both in flavour and in presentation. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. See you next time!